So, in this video, we are going to discuss the question in Thermal and Statistical Physics, which appeared in IIT Jam 2006. The first question is, uh, a solid melts into a liquid via first order phase transition. Okay, so we are given a situation. Uh, the relationship between the pressure P and temperature T of the uh, temperature T of the phase transition is, so we are given a relationship uh, at the phase transition that is P that is equal to minus 2T plus P naught. Okay, let's call this as equation 1. Here P naught it's a constant, uh, it's given to a constant. The entropy change associated with the phase transition is, so we are given that during phase transition the entropy change is 1.0 joule per mole per Kelvin. Okay. Now, the class is Clapton equation for the latent heat, it's given uh, given to us, the equation is given to us. So, we have delta V, that is the V liquid minus V solid, is the change in molar volume. Remember, it's a molar volume at the phase transition. The cut statement relating the values of the volume is, okay. So, from the given information, we have to identify the correct uh, uh, option, okay. So, from the given statement, as I have written here in equation 1, we notice that, this can this result can be obtained if we write the change in pressure with change in temperature that, that is dp by dt that is equal to minus 2 and upon integration uh, we obtain equation 1 okay now the classes clapton equation is the classes clapton equation is dp by dt that is equal to L y t and then V, well, it's a solid to liquid uh, transition, so V liquid minus V solid, okay. Now, this can be written as L y t, this is the entropy change, so delta S divided by V liquid minus V solid, V liquid minus V solid. Okay. Now, dp by dt, it's given to us. So, dp by dt, it's given to us. So, if we substitute the val uh, this value in equation, let's call this as equation th uh, 3. So, okay, 2 and 3 implies that minus 2 is equal to 1. The delta S, th that is, that's also given 1 joule per mole per Kelvin. Okay. So, that's 1 divided by V liquid minus V solid. So, after rearranging uh, this result, we obtain V liquid is equal to V solid minus 1 by 2. Okay. So, which matches with which option B liquid is equal to V solid minus 1 by 2. So, that, that is C is the correct one here. So, let's continue with the next question. The statement is the equation of state of a gas is, so we are given the equation of state for, uh, for gas and it is P into V minus A square by P that is equal to nRT. Let's call this as equation 1. While uh, during adiabatic expansion, uh, adiabatic process, the gas obeys Pb power gamma that is equal to K, where A and K are given to be positive constants. Okay. All other variables have their usual meaning. Find the work done by the gas when it expands first isothermally. So, we are given uh, two situations. Uh, the first step is the isothermal expansion of the gas from uh, Pv to P1 to B. Okay. So, that's a uh, uh, first case. And then adiabatically, that's the second scenario, the adiabatic expansion from uh, P1 to V2, P1 by 2, V1, where P1 is less than P. Okay. So, we have to find the uh, work done by the gas uh, uh, in these two different cases. Okay. So, now, uh, the, for the first case, the, uh, for the isothermal expansion, isothermal expansion, of the gas from PV. So, we, uh, it's uh, in the first case, the gas expands isothermally, that is from P comma B, that's the initial equilibrium state to the final equilibrium state, having 
the thermodynamic coordinates as P1 to B. Okay. So, and this is happening under isothermal condition. So, uh, in this case, under isothermal condition, so that means T is constant. So, uh, the so that means the equation of state will be valid for, for this case. That is, uh, so that means uh, equation one will be valid at this point as well as this point. Okay. So, and uh, right hand side will be same because n it's constant, R is also constant, and temperature will also stay constant. So, therefore, for these two equilibrium points, this one and this one, we can write P into V minus A square by B, B, and this that is equal to nRT. Okay, so I'm not writing uh, nRT, and this will be equal to now corresponding to this equilibrium states. We will write the the same uh, equation of states. So now here the pressure is P1, and then multiply by V. So instead of V, now we are having 2V. Okay, so 2V and minus a square by 2V. Okay. Now, uh, after rearranging the terms here in this equation, we obtain that P1 that is equal to, so we have to simply rearrange the terms and after rearranging, we will obtain P1 that is equal to 2P into B square minus A square divided by 4 B square minus A square. So, this step we have obtained after rearrangements. Okay, so let's call this as equation 2. Now, we want to evaluate the work done during this step, that's the isothermal expansion, okay. So, for this case, we will uh, make use of the general, uh, the standard expression for the work done. Now, the work done during this step, if we call as, this as W1 and that is equal to P dB and that is equal to so here we will replace p so p will be nrt divided by this term okay v minus a square by v okay so nrt will take outside nrt because t is also constant it's isothermal expansion and the expansion it's taking place from volume b to 2v so the conditions from b to 2v and then uh, replace, replacing p that is nrt upon so here this dv and divided by the terms that is left is b minus b minus a square upon b okay now uh, in order to evaluate this integral so before that i just want to uh, mean uh, introduce the differential of a quantity uh, so which we are going to uh, mean uh, use here to evaluate this uh, integral here so the, let's try to understand this step here ddv of 1 by 2 ln v square minus a square okay and if we evaluate this quantity this will be 1 by 2 outside and then uh, divided by v square minus a square and then differential of uh, v square that will be 2v so v will cancel with v and this can be rewritten as 1 upon v minus a square by v so i have introduced this step in between just because we need uh, if we just uh, take a look at uh, this result the inter because we want to find out the integral of 1 by b minus a square by b so that mean differential of this quantity that is equal to this quantity so that means if you take its integral so then that, that will give you uh, give us 1 by 2 v square minus a squares okay so that means uh, w1 will be w1 that is equal to nRT and then uh, multiply by 1 by 2 multiply by 1 by 2 ln v square minus a square and then the limits of integration extend from v to 2v. Let's continue to the next page. So that means w1 comes out to be equal to nRT by 2 nRT divided by 2 ln upper limit that is 2B so it will become 4 V square minus A square upon V square minus A square okay 
and now we will replace nrt by using the uh, the the given ga gas equation nrt is equal to p into v minus a square by b okay so if you do that so this is equal to w1 that is equal to p by 2 and then multiply by v minus a square by b ln 4b square minus a square upon v square minus a square. So, this is the work done during the isothermal expansion. Okay. Now, the second step, it is the adiabatic expansion. Okay. The, it is the adiabatic expansion. So adiabatic expansion it takes uh, it takes place from p1 to v to the new coordinates which are p1 divided by 2 and then v1 okay so because it's an adiabatic process so that means here we can apply the the standard result that's pv power gamma that is equal to some constant okay so we will apply this result here and then from here we will obtain the value of v1 in terms of uh, pressure p1 okay okay uh, so here p1 to be power gamma that is equal to p2 which is p1 by 2 and then b1 power gamma okay and uh, after um, solving this equation we will obtain v1 that is equal to 2 power gamma plus 1 by gamma multiply by b okay so let's call this as equation 4 now we have to evaluate the work done during adiabatic uh, expansion okay so the work let's call this work done as w2 okay so here we will make use of the standard result uh, for the work done during an adiabatic process which is equal to 1 upon gamma minus 1 and then pi vi minus p final v final okay so here p initial that is p1 okay and a p final is 2v so this is this is equal to 1 upon gamma minus 1 2 p1 v minus p final v final so minus p1 v1 by 2 minus p1 v1 by 2 okay so after uh, taking the common terms outside so this is equal to p1 upon gamma minus 1 multiply by 2v minus b1 by 2 okay so now here we will substitute the value of p1 uh, from equation uh, 2 i think yes from equation 2 the value of p1 we are going to substitute and then uh, from equation uh, 4 we will substitute the value of v1 here in this equation okay so if you do that we will obtain this is further equal to uh, 2p b square minus a square now we are substituting the value of p1 here okay uh, divided by gamma minus 1 as it is and then the uh, numerator from the term p1 okay which is 4 v square minus a square okay multiply by 2v minus 2 power gamma plus 1 by gamma v divided by 2 okay and uh, if we just solve uh, this so b uh, we can take outside here so b it's common here so it this turns out to be equal to 2 pv v square minus a square upon gamma minus 1 multiply by 4 b square minus a square 2 minus 2 power 1 by gamma okay so that's the expression for the work done during uh, adiabatic process okay and i think this was the only thing that's asked okay yes that's true so this finishes our question